Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Bath & Body Works haul. I know I kind of said that I wanted to keep October light on hauls, but they had the 50% off fall sale and I ordered some stuff online as well as went in store. I needed a few gifts to pick up um, as well as like restocking on a few things. So yeah, I kind of did some damage, <laughs> but um, I have an online order and an in-store haul to show you guys. I actually went to my outlet in my mall and they had such good stuff. So the video before this is actually a walkthrough of my outlet mall. So if you want to see that, I'll link it up above and you guys can go watch that. But this is the haul portion. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. So if you guys haven't heard already, they are having a 50% off sale for all of the kind of like the early fall and the Halloween uh, body care candles. Everything is 50% off right now. So definitely head into your stores if you're looking to pick up stuff, but um, don't if you're not because you will be swayed to buy something. But I placed this order on the 19th, which I think was literally two days ago and it's already here. That's crazy. But yeah. So I actually kind of used this as an excuse to buy some stuff for Ryan, for my boyfriend. He, their house is like, it's all guys, okay? And they're out of all their soaps and they're out of all their wall fragrances. And I like it to smell good there, okay? And I wanna use soap rather than just like putting water in the soap bottles and having watery soap, which ladies, that, that's that gotta be just a guy thing. Please tell me it's just a guy thing. So yeah, I ordered a few hand soaps for them and some fragrance refills, but I also got some stuff for me. So I'm gonna get into what I got for myself first. So the first thing I got is this strawberry pound cake hand cream and it was $3.75, so half off of $7.50. And I literally can never have too many hand creams. I use them so much. Um, and this is a whipped hand cream, so I wonder if it's a different formulation. I just now noticed that it said whipped on it. Oh, strawberry pound cake is such a good scent. Okay, now this kind of feels actually a little more watery than the regular hand creams. It's like kind of a um, thinner viscosity. Look at me using my big words, but it is a little bit thinner. I wonder if it's just as moisturizing. It still feels good, but yeah, that's a little odd. But strawberry pound cake, you can never go wrong. And for half price, I was definitely gonna pick it up. I also picked up a body scrub because Anytime you can get body scrubs on sale is a great time. So I picked up the Sunrise Woods Creamy Body Scrub. This is from like one of the first fall collections. The scent notes are creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. Um, this was $8.25, so regularly $16.50. Not a bad deal. Um, but I tried Sunrise Woods, I think, in the body cream, and I like it. It's like a nice, simple... Um, scent i figured sandalwood and cashmere i really like those kinds of scents i usually don't like those kinds of like i don't even know what to call them airy like um earthy scents but this one is a really good one and i've never tried their creamy body scrub formula so i've been eyeing this one for a while finally just bought the bit the bullet and the last thing i got for myself is a new um vent clip for my car. So this is the little sunflower vent clip. It is so gorgeous. I was looking at this anyways. Um, the current vent clip that I have in my car is, it's like studded and it's silver and some of the studs are gone. It just kind of doesn't look the best because it's been like falling off my car a lot lately too. So I've really been needing a new car fragrance um, clip. And this one was $4.25, regularly $7.50. This is, however, like a, a visor clip instead of the vent clip. So we'll see how I like that. But yeah, I figured it's really gorgeous and I needed a new one, so I picked that up. And this is definitely a year-round kind of vibe too. Okay, now for the stuff that I got for Ryan's place. And yes, I did just use it as an excuse to shop. And to get points though, okay, the first thing I got is the Perfect Pumpkin Hand Soap. So they're having a Halloween party next weekend and they don't have any hand soap in their downstairs bathroom. So figured I'd pick this up for them. <laughs> it's Carved Pumpkin Spooky Cinnamon and Moonlight Vanilla. I didn't pick up any of the Halloween hand soaps this year and I'm just kind of sad. So I really just wanted to have this so I'd be able to see it. Yeah, kind of just using it as an excuse. Um, and then I picked up Champagne Apple and Honey. This is just so gorgeous. It is a white barn label actually, and it's kind of matte. 
I would say it's like a demi matte texture. Really, really pretty. But champagne apple and honey, you can never go wrong. Um, Pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, and autumn woods. I honestly want to smell it again because I just love that scent. Mm, it is so good and nice and fresh and simple. I feel like the guys won't mind it, but also it's red. So if we want to use it for like their Christmas decor, that's good too. And then I picked up crisp morning air. This is also like kind of a generic scent that, you know, they won't really mind. Fresh pine, juniper, and juicy pear. Mm, that one smells really good. Like legit like pear. Um, this, so all the hand soaps were actually 375. And then the Marshmallow Fireside Hand Soap, which the top um, actually came to me broken. It was like a golden lid, and so I just replaced it with one that I already had in black, and it looks totally fine. But Marshmallow Fireside is Toasted Marshmallow Smoldering Woods and Fire Roasted Vanilla. It's just like a very simple sweet scent, and I feel like you can't go wrong with this. But I really liked it for the label, and I feel like that's a little masculine too, and I really wanted Marshmallow Fireside, so I got it. <laughs> Um, and then I picked up a few uh, fragrance refills. The first one is just leaves. You honestly can't go wrong with leaves. Um, crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. I'm pretty sure I have leaves going downstairs in our bathroom. It's just like a nice fresh scent. And then lakeside morning, which I remember the last time Ryan and I were in Bath and Body Works, he smelled that and really loved it. So crisp air, driftwood, fresh green apple. Another just like fresh air scent. And then I picked up Sweet Whiskey, kind of bargaining on this one. I don't really know exactly how it smells, um, but it's Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Red Berries. I thought the name alone was a little bit masculine, and so that kind of made me think that they would enjoy that. So that is the first half of this haul, and that's the online order. And now we're going to get into what I picked up at the outlet, which is kind of a lot. It's a very heavy bag, and I think it's leaking. Uh-oh. Okay, got my receipt, but I went today during lunch, and I was kind of in a rush because I was on my lunch break. I'm trying not to take too long. Um, but I was looking for some hand soaps and some fragrance refills for my friends. I'm putting together a little gift for them. This video is going to go up after I give them their gift, so it's totally fine. Um, but right when I walked in to the outlet, they had a, I believe, a $3, yeah, $3 hand soap table. So I went kind of crazy on the hand soaps. So I got one for myself, actually for my parents in the bathroom downstairs. Just sunshine and lemons. Super simple. You can never go wrong with this or even just to put it in the kitchen. It is yuzu, grapefruit, and sun rays. Literally just, um, to me, it's just a lemon scent. Yeah, it's literally straight citrus. So really good one, simple, $3, can't go wrong. Um, I picked up the coconut sandalwood, another one that just looks sophisticated. So this is a white barn scent, and here's the packaging on it. It is also like that demi matte packaging that these white barn um, soaps seem to have and it has a beautiful like I think this is not necessarily rose gold but a little touch like an accent on this pump I just thought it's gorgeous um, so this is coconut palm luxurious sandalwood and warm musk I didn't smell this in stores I hope it's okay yeah that's some good stuff that's some good stuff they're gonna love this okay I got these for my friends they're super pretty packaging and I figured this is like perfect for gift giving. Um, the next one I got is Cotton and Freesia, also a white barn um, packaging. Super gorgeous. I mean like this is just a step up and are these a different price? They don't have the price on them. It just has a sticker that says made in US of US and non-US parts. So I'm thinking maybe this is actually from Canada and um, it somehow made its way to my outlet, which is kind of crazy. Um, but the scent notes are soft cotton, jasmine, and fresh woods. It actually is for sure from Canada because on the back there is, um, I believe three or four, four different sets of languages of the scent notes. And usually only Canada does that. Um, so the, like the second one, is French, so that's how I know it's Canada, whereas in the US, usually the second language that they'll put on packaging is Spanish, so they'll usually just do English and Spanish on packaging, so that's how you can usually tell. But let's smell cotton and freesia. Oh, that smells like laundry. Oh, I know exactly who to give this to. Wow, that's a good one. Oh, I should've got all these for myself. Well, I did end up getting two of Vanilla Cloud just because that sounded the most like what I would like. 
Um, but this is the packaging on that one. Also a white barn one. It has a silver accent on it. Just a level up. These are so pretty. And um, Vanilla Cloud is Whip Vanilla, Apple Blossom, and Sandalwood. So let's smell this one. Ooh. Oh, what a beautiful scent. So sophisticated. This whole line, if you have an outlet near you, you need to go see if they have this line because that is just so pleasant. They're so pretty. Okay. Anyways, that was like pleasantly surprising. Okay. Very happy about that purchase. Um, the next thing I got is from the 50% off table. Let me actually see how much it was. It was $7.25 for this single wick candle and Hello Gorgeous Pumpkin Spice Latte, which I did have a single wick last year in Pumpkin Spice Latte and absolutely adored it. Um, I burned it a lot of the times like with either Pumpkin Donut Shop or like with a bakery scented candle and then this was like the coffee. So it was coffee and bakery going at the same time and it was such a good combo. I'm smelling that it is so strong. I'm smelling it right now just like having it around my face. Oh my gosh. It just smells like espresso to me. I don't get any latte. I don't get any, um, maybe a little bit of like foam steam milk, but I don't get any spice. It's just espresso to me or like freshly brewed coffee. So good. Really happy I found this. When I saw it, I kind of just was like, Victoria, you have to get it. It's on sale. You have to get it. <laughs> and then I have a bag of fragrance refills for wallflowers. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the cheapest one that I got. It is cereal and cartoons, and this was out in the $2 section. And this is from this summer. The scent notes are toasted cinnamon crunchy cereal cold milk. This is also a French, this is also not French, I mean um, Canadian exclusive because they have it in French down below. But yeah, cereal and cartoons. It's just like a cinnamon spice scent, so. Ooh, if I want to use it right now, I definitely can, but I could just save it for later as well. Um, and that was only $2. Now, all the rest of them were either uh, $3.75 or $3. So this one was $3 and it is fresh linen. I figured this one would be really good. We have a fragrance refill in the garage right now, which is right next to our laundry room. It just like keeps it smelling fresh. So this is sun-dried linen, apple blossom, and dewy melon just going to be like a laundry scent okay and all the rest of them were 375 so this is white balsam and vanilla scent notes are fresh white pine chilled forced air and warm vanilla musk so i actually think this would be really good to put um out for christmas time um i'm a little unsure if i want to use it at my house because my mom usually is not a fan of balsam scents and i really am not that much either but this one i feel like it's going to be a little bit sweet balsam um, so I might stick this one at Ryan's house and see how it does, but this one I feel like it's going to be really good for Christmas and I got it already half off. So, okay. The last three are all from the Halloween collection and they're all for my girlfriends. So the first one keeping on theme is ghoul friend. And, um, this is from this year's Halloween 375. It's dark strawberries, ghostly peony and spine chilling citrus. And then we have vampire blood. So cute, I love a soul vampire. <laughs> Scent notes are blood red strawberry, midnight blooming jasmine, and dark Transylvanian plum. Just like a really good berry scent. And then we have wicked apple. This one's my favorite for the packaging because it's got a little ghost on it. He's so cute. And this is ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla bean. So that's the last thing that I have for my haul. So that's everything for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below if you've been participating in the 50% off sale. I honestly think that they should do this every season. So that way when they get to um, SAS, they don't have to keep it going for as long because my stores here and my outlet especially, SAS lasted like a month after um, regular SAS was supposed to end. So I think that they should keep doing this because it kind of gets rid of all their inventory. Everybody feels like they get a good deal and they can prep their floors and their stores for the next season. So I really like that they've been doing this lately with the summer or the, did they do it with the summer stuff when fall came out? I think, no, they did a Memorial Day sale. I'm sorry. They did a Memorial Day sale with like the end of summer stuff and they're doing now the fall sale so that they can bring in the Christmas stuff. So I think it's a really good idea. I love this concept, but 
yeah that's everything for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did like comment and subscribe down below oh and one last thing my shirt is actually from jane so cannot get it um but it does say salem broom co i just thought it was really cute <laughs> it's from jane last year um but i'm sure they have them on etsy but anyways with that <laughs> i will see you guys in the next video bye